I offended none of my rivals in this campaign. I listened instead to what they were saying. And I saw little incompatibility with my own ideas about jobs, fair wages, personal safety, and national strength, and ending want in a land of plenty. I believe that if we but focus on the work at hand and the work that will come to hand, we will go very far under my watch. You believe that too. At pinakinggan ko ang tinig ninyo na ang sinisigaw ay pagkakaisa, pagkakaisa, pagkakaisa. We will go farther together than against each other, pushing forward, not pulling each other back, out of fear, out of a misplaced sense of weakness. But we are the furthest from weak. The Filipino diaspora flourishes even in the most inhospitable climes where they are valued for their quality. The changes we seek will benefit all and will shortchange no one. I was not the instrument of change. You were that. You made it happen. I am now. You picked me to be your servant to enable changes to benefit all. I fully understand the gravity of the responsibility that you put on my shoulders. I do not take it lightly, but I am ready for the task. I will need your help. I want to rely on it, but rest assured I do not predicate success on the wide cooperation that's needed. I will get it done. I once knew a man who saw what little had been achieved since independence in a land of people with the greatest potential for achievement, and yet they were poor. But he got it done, sometimes with the needed support, sometimes without. So will it be with his son. You will get no excuses from me.